Keras exists to improve the lives of cancer patients. Because every person is unique, and every person's cancer is unique, we look at patients on a molecular level so they can be treated with the best therapies for their disease. What is NGS and how does it work? DNA is the molecule that contains all the genetic information that makes up who we are. While the DNA code is very similar between all humans, it is still unique to each person, which gives us individuality and diversity within our species. Every cell in a person's body contains their unique DNA sequence, or genome. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and is a chain made up of four molecular building blocks called bases, or nucleotides. These are adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. When DNA is sequenced, the order of nucleotides arranged in the chain is determined. The specific order of these nucleotides is what scientists look at in a laboratory to determine the sequence of each gene, which are located on different regions on the DNA strand. In 1977, Frederick Sanger invented a technique that allowed him to determine the order of nucleotides in a DNA chain. His method, known as Sanger sequencing, paved the way for new technologies that have improved the efficiency and cost-effectiveness of sequencing DNA, enabling scientists to sequence the genomes of entire organisms. Years later, these technologies were leveraged in an international effort to sequence the entire human genome. Modern sequencing methodologies, known as next-generation sequencing, allow scientists to sequence DNA very efficiently by reading multiple smaller sections of DNA at the same time. This technique allows the entire genome to be sequenced within one day. The three billion base pairs that make up an entire human genome are also analyzed multiple times, which improves the accuracy of the data generated. The data collected is compared to a reference human genome that scientists have developed. The reference genome is made up of contributions from many different people's DNA and provides a good representation of the average base pair composition of the human genome. Keras Life Sciences uses next-generation sequencing to analyze over 22,000 gene-coding regions of DNA in the genome, called the exome, and in RNA, called the transcriptome. For next-generation sequencing to be performed, the DNA is first extracted. The DNA is then prepared by cutting it into fragments and chemically adding adapters on each end. Once the adapters are in place, the DNA is converted into single strands and captured on a surface for target enrichment, which creates DNA clusters. Several of these clusters are sequenced simultaneously or in parallel. This generates a large amount of sequencing data that is analyzed by a computer program that identifies overlapping areas of DNA code. The program uses this information to align the entire sequence through comparison with the reference human genome. Next-generation sequencing is used to guide cancer treatment by identifying specific mutations or errors in the genes that cause cancer to grow, as well as identify potential therapies to which the tumor may be sensitive. Knowing the genetic details of a tumor is incredibly beneficial to oncologists in order for them to predict the behavior of the cancer and to aid in therapeutic decision-making. Combining Keras's DNA and RNA sequencing with our AI technology, Keras Molecular Profiling is leading the industry with the most comprehensive and clinically relevant molecular profile for cancer patients.